Come on, welcome to forest. Follow me. Come on, let's go. Yeah, I think it's improved dramatically, especially since we gained promotion to the Prem. I think it's just so obvious to see, for example, just the, this sort of area, the canteen slash sort of lounge area is. It, it, was, it wasn't even here, really. Obviously, having the barista and, and these small touches go a long, long way to just making it feel like a, a proper Premier League training ground. from the owner. The investment, not only at the city ground, just at the training ground has been massive year on year, is just constantly improving things, um, whether that be the gym, like an open plan, physio, gym area. You can, you can just tell by going in it, the, the level's completely different. It's, um, yeah, it's absolutely top class, to be fair, the, the gym area and everything the changing rooms with the ice bath saunas. The amount of you know, staff now there is with the, in the kitchen and, and things like that, it uh, yeah, continues to grow and, and I've not even touched on the pitches. When we got promoted um, that year, the, they weren't up at, at the best standard. Now they're basically identical to the city ground. Which is, which is just huge, I think, training on a pitch that is immaculate every single day. It's really helping the lads, you know, become better players than when they came. So, yeah, another thing that probably doesn't get spoken about enough, but, you know, it's a huge, huge investment, um, making sure the pitches are world class. Come in, come in. Yes. Oh. One of my favourite bits is upstairs in the, in the uh, analyst suite, the sort of like uh, dugout benches where you can sit um, and sort of go through your clips and stuff of games. All I can say is that the owner looks at every single detail of what can be improved. And yeah, like I say, the difference from when I first came as a seven, eight year old is, uh, is it's almost unrecognisable to be honest.